Hey everyone, so I've had some people say uh, that they like the episodes where I talk about myself more, and uh, I've also had some people ask me some questions about myself, so I thought I'd do a little getting to know you, getting to know Constantine sort of episode, so here it goes. Nickname, Constantine. You can call me Constantine. Some people seem to think this is a reference to the Keanu Reeves movie called Constantine. Hey, Pern. How are you? But it is not a reference to that movie or to the Hellblazer comic series that it's based off of, even though I have read that comic book series. Uh, it's actually a reference to uh, this guy. What's your, what's your business, Pern? I have a crazy cat. Anyway. Um, but, you know, I've read it, and I, I like the Hellblazer comic series, so... <laughs> so, if you want to uh, think it's a reference to that, then that's cool, too. That's fine. Um, and Constantine... Burn. Burn. <sighs> um... Constantine is definitely not my real name. Um, go away. <laughs> uh, and maybe I'll tell you my real name uh, once I've met you and have decided that you're not a serial killer. But until then, you can call me Constantine. Alright, I finally managed to subdue my cat. So, uh, we can continue. Um, why did I name my blog and my YouTube channel Nonstop to Tokyo? Well, I chose this name not because I'm going nonstop to Tokyo, even though I guess I am. Uh, it's a reference to uh, a song by the Japanese Bossa Nova Lounge group, whatever group you want to call them, uh, Pizzicato 5. Uh, it's a cute song. And it's a cute song, and listening to it makes me happy. So when I found out I was accepted to Jet, I thought it would be a good thing to name my blog. Uh, birthplace, or where I'm from. I was born in California, but I grew up in Colorado, so I think I'm, I consider myself from Colorado. And I'm actually from the same hometown as Radry, Colorado Springs. Yeah. My hair color is blonde. My eye color is blue. Um, I'm five seven, five foot seven, or I guess in centimeters that's a hundred and seventy point five centimeters. And my heritage is German and Swedish. But you didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> my occupation. Well, I just graduated from college with a double major in international relations and history. And in both of those things, it's a concentration in East Asian studies. I'm sure that's a big surprise to all of you. And um, I will be starting my job as uh, an assistant language teacher for the JET program in August. So that'll be my future job. So right now I'm just a bum, a rock climbing bum. And this is my cat, Pern. And she has decided that she's desperate for attention and won't leave me alone. And now my cat's mad at me because I pushed her away. Pern. Pern. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pern. I didn't mean it. I swear. Are you mad? Come here. Come here. Come on. She's mad at me now. Oh well. I, I have a feeling she'll get over it. Uh, some of my hobbies, or the things I like to do for fun, are uh, rock climbing, camping, and hiking. <laughs> Uh, I also really like to uh, watch movies and I read tons and tons and tons of books. It's really not cool. Um, I really have this like thing for skulls. I love skulls. Um, and I also really love zombies and horror movies. So one of the things I really like to do for fun is special effects makeup. 
which I'm sure you guys will start seeing in some of my YouTube videos. Betamax DC, that's right. You're going to see it. I probably shouldn't have mentioned it because it's not going to be that good, but anyway. Uh, where was I? Oh, another one of my hobbies is talking to strangers, especially at like bars. I love talking to strangers, um, but I have to be in the mood for it. Other times I can be really, really shy in front of people, so if you ever end up meeting me and I seem to be acting kind of weird or really quiet, it's probably because I feel shy, so don't take it personally. I really love Japanese film, and you can see part of my film collection uh, back there, uh, and my book collections over there. Um, but my two favorite actors are not Japanese actors. My two favorite actors are Clint Eastwood and Arnold Schwarzenegger because they are the two most badass people ever. And two of my favorite movies ever are The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, which is an old spaghetti western. And I also really love Terminator 2. Well, all the Terminator movies, but Terminator 2 especially. And I don't love Terminator 3, but I still watch it because it has Arnold in it. Some people have asked me how I know so much about Japanese movies and, and Japanese stuff in general. Um, and I mean, I'm not really sure if I know a whole bunch. I, I know a lot more people who, who know more than I do. But I have been interested in it and reading about it since I was 12, so I guess I've had some time to accumulate information. And if you think about it from, from that standpoint, you know, I'm 22, I've been doing it for 10 years, I probably should know a lot more than I do. And I think that my Japanese should probably be a lot better than it is. Um, <clears throat> but contrary to what you might think, you know, I didn't, I didn't go to college for film, I went for history. and. Uh, Ideally, I'd like to be a history professor, so I am one of those snotty academics, uh, Japanophiles, so, <laughs> oh well. And uh, finally, my uh, tattoos. Uh, I have two tattoos, but it kind of looks like I just have one, uh, and it's on my spine. So, here, I'll, I'll show you. Um... Some of you may know that I practiced Rinzai Zen Buddhism for a year at the Cambridge Zen Center. Um, while I'm not really a big believer in uh, institutionalized religion or any of that, I, uh, I still consider Zen uh, and Zen philosophy really important to me. But uh, the main inspiration for my tattoos uh, is actually the Hoichi the Airless vignette from Kobayashi Masaki's 1964 film Kaidan. I really, really love when they uh, write the, su the Lotus Sutra on Hoichi to protect him from the ghosts. And so that was actually the main inspiration for my tattoo. But I'm not really very interested in getting a whole sutra tattooed on me. And uh, I ended up doing the Nichiren Buddhist uh, Daimoku because I researched a lot about Nichiren, the man, not the Buddhism, the form of Buddhism. And I also did study Nichiren Buddhism and uh, sort of what it looked like and what sort of influence it had within Japan during World War II. Uh, it's very interesting. But I love tattoos. I would have a whole bunch more if I didn't at one point in time expect to be a professor. And I might still get a lot more even though I am, will want to be a professor. And I also really like guys with tattoos. It's uh, probably not the best thing to uh, find really attractive, but unfortunately I do. So. And also, if you've got any more questions, you can feel free to ask me about that. I'll answer them, truthfully. But uh, <laughs> uh, other than that, that's all for now. Have a good day. Peace.